Okay. I don't know. Your ship is amazing, and your crew's been really great to me, especially your chief engineer. But I just sort of feel out of place. The Normandy runs so smooth, it feels like we're not even moving. And the engines are so quiet. How do you sleep at night? I find it rather peaceful. Don't worry, you'll get used to it. But it's more than just a silence. This ship feels so empty. It's like half the crew is missing. Back home, I couldn't wait to go on my pilgrimage. I couldn't wait to get away from the crowds. Now that I'm out here, I kind of miss them. Sometimes we don't appreciate what we have until it's gone. That's true. I'm starting to wonder if that's what the pilgrimage is really about. It's given me a whole new perspective on my people and our culture. You know, there's always a few who go on their pilgrimages and never return. I always assumed something bad happened to them. But maybe they just wanted a different life. You do plan to return to the migrant fleet, right? I could never abandon my people, Shepard. I will go back eventually. But we have to stop Seren first. Otherwise, I might not have a home to go back to. I should go. See you later. So, we've got Saren on the run. It won't be long now. Saren's good, but I'm better. Good. He's rotten. To the core. I could tell as soon as I met him. I don't really care, Rex. Suit yourself. Commander, you have a minute to talk. I keep an open door policy. If you have any concerns, lay them on me. All right. I, I know things are different aboard the Normandy, but uh, I'm I'm concerned about the aliens, Vicarian and Rex. With all due respect, Commander, should they have full access to the ship? You don't trust their motives because they're not human. This is the most advanced ship in the Alliance Navy. I don't think we should give them free reign to poke around the vital systems. Engines, sensors, weapons. That's enough, Chief. You always second-guess your superiors? Sir! No, sir. I'm sorry, I was out of line. I'll get back to my duties, Commander. Commander, how are you? Why did you want to be a CSEC officer in the first place? That's a good question. There were several reasons, I guess. Like what? Probably the same as most officers. I wanted to fight injustice, wanted to help people. I guess my father had something to do with it, too. He was CSEC, one of the best. I grew up hearing about his accomplishments or seeing his picture on the vids after a big arrest. He's taking my resignation pretty hard. He's not impressed that you're going after Saren? My father's a CSEC man to the bone. Do things right or don't do them at all, he says. He thinks I'm being too rash, too impatient. He's worried I'll become just like Saren. He actually talked me out of becoming a Spectre when I was younger, for the same reasons. You were asked to be a Spectre? Well, I was targeted as a possible Spectre candidate. Me and about a thousand other Turian military recruits. I could have received special training, but my father didn't like it. He despises the Spectres. He hates the idea of someone having unlimited power with no accountability. He wouldn't like you, Commander. No offense. Not all Spectres are like Saren, you know. Of course not. But Saren's not gonna play by our rules, c -Sex rules. If you want to nail Saren, you need to send someone who isn't restricted by policies and procedures. You're a quick learner, Garrus. We'll beat him at his own game. It's the only way to stop someone like him. I'm right behind.
Good timing, Commander. We got a transmission coming in from the Citadel. Top priority clearance. Is it the Ambassador? It's not his signature. I think it's from the Council. I'll patch it through to the Comrade. Commander Shepard, we've received information that may be critical to your mission against Saren. I'll take all the help I can get. We've received an urgent message from one of our infiltration regiments in the Traverse. You mean spies? Spectres tend to attract attention, Commander. But they are only one arm of the Council. Special task groups are often a better option for monitoring developing situations. We currently have several infiltration units scattered throughout the border regions of Citadel space. This particular unit was gathering intel on Saren. What did they find? Unfortunately, the message we received was little more than static. The infiltration team must be in a situation where they can't set up proper interstellar communications. But the message was sent on a channel reserved for mission critical communications. Whatever they were trying to tell us, we know it was important. Considering your interest in Saren, we thought you might want to investigate this. Find out what happened to our team. The signal originated from the planet Vermeer. I'll look into it. The Council prefers not to become involved in the specifics of Spectre activities. We only want you to be aware of all your options, including Vermeer. Good luck, Commander Shepard. We will keep you advised if we learn anything else. Control, this is the SSV Normandy, requesting a vector and a berth. Normandy, your arrival was not scheduled. Our defense grid is armed and tracking you. State your business. Citadel business. We got a Council Spectre aboard. Landing access granted, Normandy. Be advised, we will be confirming identification on arrival. If confirmation cannot be established, your vessel will be impounded. What a fun bunch. I think I'll take my next leave here. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere.
Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. That's far enough. Something wrong, officer? You better hope there isn't. This is an unscheduled arrival. I need your credentials. I'm a Spectre. My name is Shepard. Load of horse crap, ma'am. We will need to confirm that. Also, I must advise you that firearms are not permitted on Novaria. Sergeant Sterling, secure their weapons. Don't try it. Nobody takes my weapon. Charge and lock! We are authorized to use lethal force. You have to the count of three to surrender your weapons. One, two, three... Captain Matsuo, stand down! We confirmed their identity. Spectres are authorized to carry weapons here, Captain. You may proceed, Spectre. I hope the rest of your visit will be less confrontational. Parasini-san will meet you upstairs. Behave yourself. I am Gianna Parasini, assistant to Administrator Analeas. We apologize for the incident in the docking bay. Someone pissed in your security chief's coffee today? She takes her job seriously. She is a valuable asset to the company. One of my duties is orientation of new arrivals. Do you have any questions? Pretty heavy security for such a small port. The executive board does everything in its power to protect the privacy of our client corporations. I can't have my investigation hampered. Tread lightly. The board can bury you in litigation. You'd need an Asari lawyer to see the case through. Has anyone unusual passed through here recently? Unusual? An Asari matriarch passed through a few days ago. Lady Benezia. Saren's aide is here. Passed through? Where is she now? Benezia left for the Peak 15 research complex days ago. To the best of my knowledge, she's still there. Good. Give us directions and we'll be on our way. You'll need to ask Administrator Analeas for clearance to leave this port. Understood. Can we go in now? Of course. If you need any help, you can ask me at the Administrator's office. Commander, it might be wise to bring Dr. Tassoni along. She knows her bundle better than any of us. Welcome to Port Hanshan, the galaxy's most respected site for independent scientific research and development. For your own safety and to protect the privacy of others, you are required to obey any directions given by our security personnel. If you have questions or concerns, our friendly administrative staff is always available. Thank you, and enjoy your stay. Hmm. The managers warned us about you. Regret letting you keep those guns. 
The male human at the hotel bar? He's a sales rep for Binary Helix. His name is Raphael Vargas. I need you to speak with him. Whatever you need done, ask someone else. I'm busy. My mistake, obviously. What sort of offer do you make? Good. I don't think I'm supposed to mention that. year and start getting stock options. You hear about the resort then? At the equator. Bounce backing, diving, an accredited asset you're afield. If you like that sort of thing, I'd rather admire the view. Afternoon. Sit down, have a drink. What can I do for you? Did you see an Asari matriarch recently? Yes, she caused quite a stir. It's not every day a matriarch arrives with a guard detail of commandos. Armed commandos were allowed on Novaria? I don't know if they were disarmed. Of course, one can't confiscate biotic powers. Saren, and by extension, Benezia, is an important person. By that I mean an investor who might sell stock, if denied. You know why Benezia is here? She claimed to be Saren's assistant here to get a certain project back on track. I suspect she meant Peak 15. I have a different question. Humans are full of questions. I should write a book about it while I have the time to spare. I should let you go. Let me go. Do humans consider conversation a form of imprisonment? That would explain why so few are willing to sit and talk. Have you changed your mind? Would you speak to Vargas for me? He's right there. Why not talk to him yourself? I wish I could. I already bungled this myself. He realized I was not a real buyer. Strange people skulking in corners have gotten me in trouble before. I represent the Aramali City Council on Thessia. Our town is known for its biotic amp crafters. What's your interest in binary helix? They do genetics work. Much of BH's work relates to biotics. There are rumors that the Novaria branch has flown in Asari biotics. Powerful ones. Commandos, to be specific. We want to assess any potential risk to Asari copyrights. You will present yourself as a buyer, on behalf of the Spectres or the Alliance discuss their military enhancement programs. Your real objective will be to distract him. I will give you a device that will crack into his personal wireless network. It will upload a variety of monitoring viruses. They will infiltrate Binary Helix when he logs onto their intranet. Interesting plan. I'm in. Excellent. Here is the cracking device. You will know it is done when it beeps. I have assembled a dossier on Vargas. If you would like, I could brief you on his behavior patterns. I'll go see him now. I hope to hear from you soon. Can I help you? Mr. Vargas, I'm Commander Shepard, a Spectre. I understand you work for Binary Helix. That's correct. Raphael Vargas sales. Were you interested in our services? It's customary to perform minor genetic upgrades upon enlistment. I've been assigned to see what BH has to offer. It was my understanding that the Citadel contracted to a Solarian Corporation for its enhancement programs. Mr. Vargas, I'm here to talk business with you. If you'd rather speculate on politics, I can visit another Gen Inch firm. You have my full attention, Shepard. I'm merely getting a handle on my negotiating position. First, the boilerplate disclaimer. No genetic enhancement is guaranteed to take. Maximize the odds, but every strand of DNA is unique. Our patented techniques can provide an 8% improvement in adrenal response, 12% faster clotting, and a measurable decrease in CG muscle degeneracy. I've never heard of a technique that improves zero gravity endurance. It's a first for the industry. The advent of element zero based artificial gravity made it a less pressing concern. We're still waiting for tests to give us an average improvement. We estimate a 7 to 11% decrease in muscle loss rates. 
I can get you those improvements for 30k credits per head. For a bulk order, I can work in a sensory enhancement package, guaranteed 2015 vision, and hearing from 12 to 22,000 hertz. Are you sure that's the best price you can offer? Absolutely. That's the standard rate. Of course, if the government moves forward with this on an official level, there might be some additional discounts. I have to admit, it surprised me that you were here for business. There are many development projects on Avaria, some not entirely legal. I wear a lot of hats, Mr. Vargas. Some days I shut down criminals, some days I defuse nukes, some days I like to enjoy private vices. You understand me? I suppose. My apologies. Your manner is rather informal for a business meeting. I'm sorry, Mr. Vargas. That's a call I have to take. Thank you for your time. Of course, Commander Shepard. We look forward to doing business with you soon. Any results? Your toy did its job. Excellent. I will transfer 500 credits to your account. I could easily call Mr. Vargas and tell him what I just did. Did I say 500 credits? I meant 750. Good day, Spectre. Got a secret weapon. 
Sergeant Sterling's a player. Not a real friendly one either. How can I help you? I'd like to speak to Analeas. One moment, please. Mr. Analeas? Yes, what, what? Commander Shepard is asking to see you, sir. Right, fine, come in. You will excuse me if I don't stand up. I have no time to entertain refugees from that urban blight called Earth. Funny thing about humans, we're pretty loyal to our homeworld. My homeworld is clean. Poverty is non-existent. If you take some perverse pride in that overheated, acid-washed slum, that is your business. This greeting is a courtesy. I will only cooperate as required by the executive board. Businesses come here to avoid the second guessing of galactic law. And I represent the second guessing of galactic law. Just so we understand each other. I will not allow you to harass our clients. This world is private property. Do you do business with Saren? Agent Saren? One of your Spectre compatriots? He is a major investor in Binary Helix Corporation, which is one of Novaria's backers. Is Binary Helix developing weapons for him? It's possible, given his interests. What our clients do in their labs is their business. I've heard an Asari matriarch is here. Venezia? She arrived a few days ago, accompanied by a personal escort and some cargo. She's up at Peak 15. What can you tell me about her cargo? Large, heavy, and sealed. It passed weapon screening. Beyond that, it is not our concern. What do you mean, personal escort? The phrase is self-explanatory. Bodyguards attending to the safety of her person, mainly Asari commandos. Commandos? You didn't think that odd? They followed all our regulations. I had no reason to forbid Lady Benezia from taking them. What brought her out here? If I knew, I wouldn't be at liberty to say. She came here as Agent Saren's executor. She is here on business for Binary Helix. There were issues at Peak 15 that required Saren's attention. I have no more questions at this time. Good. I received a dozen urgent messages while you dithered about. Mr. Analeas isn't the only one with a path to leave Henchan. You've never worked in the corporate world, have you, Commander? You can't bludgeon through bureaucracy. So it would seem. I need an alternative. Talk to Lorik Keen. You should be able to find him at the hotel bar. Can't say more. Not within earshot of Mr. Analeas. You said I should talk to Lorik Keen? Mr. Analeas isn't the only one with a pass to leave Hanchan. Keen spends his days at the hotel since his office was closed. Tell me about the companies that work on Novaria. Over 250 high-tech firms rent our labs. Major shareholders include Elanis Risk Control Services, Binary Helix, and Synthetic Insights Limited. Your guards work for ERCS, don't they? The executive board gets a discount on facility security. Ilanis also develops lethal and non-lethal weapons. Haven't I seen synthetic insights in the news lately? They're one of only four corporations licensed by the Citadel Council to develop artificial intelligence. They attract many protests. No agitators have ever breached our security. That's why they invest heavily here. I've taken up enough of your time. Not at all, Spectre. This is my job, after all.
sit down, have a drink. What can I do for you? Are you Lorik Keen? I've heard you might be able to help me. You are the Spectre that just arrived, are you not? What can an old Turian like me possibly help you with? I'm trying to find a way into the garage. I have places to go. You need a pass. How fortuitous. I'm the manager of the local Synthetic Insights office. For the moment, at least. Mr. Analeas closed my office. He claims to be investigating reports of my corruption. The administrator is an interesting man. He's become quite wealthy since he took direct control of rents. I sense a connection there. Indeed. I acquired evidence of Analeas's actions. His hired goons are ransacking my office to find it. I suspect your goal lies outside this port. Mr. Analeas would be disinclined to let you wander. If you recover the evidence from my office, I will give you my garage pass, as well as a sum of credits. That sounds like a fair trade. Violence against Mr. Analeas' thugs may be necessary. He has members of Han Shan's security team searching my offices. He's paying them under the table. Miss Matsuo is unaware of their outside employment. If he's paying them under the table, they're mercenaries. I can kill mercenaries. Excellent. Here is my pass into our offices. It will activate the elevator. The evidence is on my office computer. This OSD contains an encryption key to access it. Slide it into the drive and it will auto-execute. Oh, and do try to keep bloodstains off the carpets, would you? That beat it! Please! Hanshan Security. This office is sealed. What'll you do if I don't? You're the Spectre, right? Laura Keene is under investigation. Analeas is paying you to shake this place down. Does Captain Matsuo know you're here? Hey, I'm not the one who wants Keen. Analeas has a Varen up his ass about this guy. How about this? You pretend you didn't see us, we'll pretend we didn't see you.
I don't think you're supposed to be in here, Shepard. No, I'm not. Are you? I'm Sergeant Kyra Sterling, Ilanis Risk Control Services. Analeas would throw you off world for what you did here. I won't. You know what we did to cop killers on my world? Your men are dirty, Sergeant. You're here off duty breaking the law for bribe money. I have a mission to complete. I did what I had to. I don't know. Commander, there have been reports of noise from the Synthetic Insights office. Would you know anything about it? Speak plain. What's your interest? Not here, Spectre. Meet me at the hotel for a drink before you talk to Keen. I'll be waiting. These people will smile to your face while they stab you in the back. This one offers greetings. You are the specter that visits Port Hanchan. Sure, whatever. This is a store, right? Of course. This one apologizes for inconveniencing you. This one offers greetings. You are the specter that visits Port Hanchan. Sure, whatever. This is a store. Of course. This one apologizes for inconveniencing you.
This one offers greeting. Sure, whatever. Of course. This one apologizes. This one offers greetings. You are the specter that visits News more. travels fast here. Indeed, esteemed specter. Your arrival was not greeted with any joy by the companies here. This one has a burden that you could ease. If an arrangement could be made, it would compensate you. This one has procured a special item for a customer. The item is not permitted within the station, but you could bring it through customs. You want me to use my status to smuggle for you? That is not inaccurate. I want to know where this package is going. This one's customer prefers to remain anonymous. Your customer would prefer to have his package. Tell me who it's for, or I walk out. Your words are not unreasonable. The customer is the Krogan called Inamorda. That one is a bounty hunter of some repute, and quick to anger. You understand this one's urgency. That other grows restless from the delay. I won't carry anything if I don't know what it is. This one must be discreet. Rest assured, the contents pose no threat to anyone within this port. I have no problem with that. This one humbly thanks the Spectre. The package will be delivered to your vessel. All you need do is bring it to this one. Please do not mention this to Administrator Analeas. That one would levy fees. Is there anything else this one might help you with? I'm just browsing right now. This one awaits your return. Good day, Commander. I wonder, how have you been spending your time? I've tried to keep myself busy. That is not an answer. Not that I truly expected one. There was a break-in at the Synthetic Insights office. Several of my officers were killed. You wouldn't know anything, would you? That was me, actually. I see. Would you care to explain? Analeas bought them off. He had them ransacking the Synthetic Insights office for his own interests. That is all too likely. Sergeant Sterling was highly mercenary. If that is true, I bear no ill will toward you. I warned my people against taking jobs on the side. This is what comes of it. I appreciate your honesty, Commander. If you will excuse me, I must compose the letters to notify their families.
Greetings, Spectre. Have you brought the package? Here you are. The Spectre has done a great service for this one. From the deepness of light, it thanks you. This one promised compensation for services rendered. It humbly suggests that a sum of 250 credits would be most appropriate. You're trying to make me laugh. You think I'm here to amuse you, to make funny sputtering noises when you offer an insult instead of a reward. N no This one would never... This one could raise the sum to 500 credits. That is half this one's profit taken by the other. It can offer no more. That's thoughtful of you. This one is glad to have come to an agreement. I'm just browsing right now. This one awaits your return. <laughs>